Who do you got? Earl Spencer, Bud Crawford. Oh. Tank Davis or Ryan Garcia? Oh my God, you picked the two hardest ones for me, man. Let me let me give a quick breakdown. If this talk to the mic more. If, I'm sorry. Let me give a quick breakdown. If this was three years ago, be specific. If this were before the nasty car accident Errol Spence got into, I had Errol Spence beating him because he's too small. I don't think that's the case anymore. I think that Bud Crawford has grown into his own and he's a bigger body. I actually think he's the superior boxer. I think that Errol Smith is bigger and stronger. But Bud can box. Got a lot of heart, ain't scared, and can hurt you. If I had to bet, I would pick Bud to win by decision. I would. But either of them could take each other out. I don't think Garcia... And, and, and Tank Davis are going the distance. Somebody get knocked out. When you say somebody, who? who? No. Anybody? What are you saying? I, I'm going to go with Tank Davis. Here's what I'm believing. If Ryan Garcia, with his quickness and his length, stays away, he can do some things. But I think because of all the chirping, he going to find himself in a situation where he's trying, he going to engage with Javante Davis. Yeah. That is a mistake. He's, he's done. That is a mistake. You engage with Javante Davis, he taking you out. That is what I believe. But be clear, Ryan Garcia is lightning quick with power, and Javante is one of those dudes he don't mind taking just so he can give. And he got to be careful too. Because getting hit by these other cats ain't the same as getting hit by Ryan Garcia. Think Sugar Ray Leonard versus mm -hmm. Hitman Hearns. Mm -hmm. Think about their first matchup. Hearns stayed the way, used the jab, detached the retina in that fight, right? Sugar Ray, Angelo Dundee, you losing it, baby. You losing it. Famous words. Sugar Ray comes out 11th, 12th round like a bat out of hell mm -hmm. and stalks him. Mm -hmm. Body shots, head just going after him. Like, I mean, crazy. Ultimately takes him down, knocks him through the ropes once, mm -hmm. okay? Hearns holds on. He's not knocked out or anything like that, but he fell. He got up, and then Sugar Ray went in and Heavy. finished him off, okay? I'm saying to you, that's how I view Javante versus Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia's shot, even with his speed and power, he cannot engage. He cannot stand there and trade shots with Javante Davis. That is a mistake. He cannot do that. But Javante can't just be willing to take shots just so he could give one or two. It's going to take more than that to beat Ryan Garcia. But I would pick Tank Davis. Now, I, would, I, would pick, I would pick Errol Spence. Bud's my guy. Errol's my guy. I give Errol Spence a little bit more of the edge, maybe – 52 48 okay you know just because i think i think uh you know errol was in a car accident but i don't really see no ill effects from it I yeah but who is he for i don't he fought danny you're, garcia you're, 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 i like garcia but you know garcia, he fought danny that's, garcia that's a hard one for me he fought ugas who, me, who i watched physically beat sean porter right. and they gave it to sean porter mm -hmm. so ugas is good ugas, ugas is, is good, good. He's not. He's a world class <clears throat> fighter. He beat Ugas and put him in a hospital for like a week or something. So, and I think that <clears throat> we don't give Errol Spence enough credit. I love Errol Spence. on his chin. I've never seen Errol Spence hurt. I actually seen Errol Spence in the middle of a fight put his hands down, and the guy punched him clean in the chin, and he was looking for his mouth. Yeah, but your your point is valid. If I said he was gonna get knocked out. What I'm saying to you is that I think Crawford is going to recognize what you just said. And Crawford ain't going to stand there and engage with Errol Spence where Errol, he gets to get hit by Errol. Errol's going to have to box. And even though I think that, uh, that Errol is an elite boxer, I just think when it comes to that, 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 that pure skill, Crawford has a slight edge, enough to win by a decision. I don't think he'll knock Errol Spence out. I think Errol Spence could potentially take him out because he's the biggest, stronger dude. Mm -hmm. But he got to catch him. And I don't think Crawford is easy to catch. No, but, but I done seen people that was 
a lot less skilled than Errol Spence catch Terrence Crawford. Okay. Like, one thing about Bud is Bud is he's going to get hit yeah. because Bud is willing to get hit to give you something. He got that type of dog in but him. But I so. also think that Crawford, Bud, as you would call him, I think the issue with him is that he he's like Javante from the standpoint they taste you. And when they know they can take it, they come in. Yeah. With Errol... I think anybody that gets in front of Errol knows what Errol could do to you. You're not going to stand there for that. Right. That's what I'm saying. Right. He's going to move. Right. Uh, He's going to move. And, I, and, and Errol's a hell of a stalker. Yeah. So it's going to be a great fight. Yeah. I just give, I mean, I feel like either one of them could win. I just lean just a little bit you. more I don't blame you. towards Errol Spence. I don't blame you. Because if this Errol was three Spence years ago, is a pick. natural 147 pounds. That's true. I seen Terry. He's actually Crawford bigger than that. He should be at 154. From, yeah. I seen Crawford come up from 135 to 140 to 147. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So he already three weight classes, whereas Errol Spence could go up to 154. I'm glad you brought something, you brought something else I want to ask you about. I feel you on that. You want me to tell you the number one reason why I'm suspect on Errol Spence in this particular fight? Why? I didn't like Errol against Mikey Garcia. I thought he should have destroyed that little man. And I felt like... He should have destroyed him. And you know what I felt like? I felt like everybody said, Earl Spence only going to go in there and, and maul him. So he was like, okay, that's what y'all think I'm going to do. Now watch me outbox this kid. Who y'all say, but I'm, I'm only going to go but, in there and I'm maul him. But I'm just saying, when a guy moves up two weight classes to fight such an elite fighter like Errol Spence Jr., you're supposed to take him out. Yeah, but you also know Mikey Garcia is a Mexican. Their chins are wired a little different. I got you. Well, I've seen some Mexicans <laughs> that have fallen, but I understand. I've seen some. Understand. You can run some of them into a Mac truck. They ain't going to sleep. <laughs> some of them, that's true. That's true. They, they chins, fair enough. I don't, fair I don't enough. know how they making the no, chins, that's fair. but they chins that's is fair. wired a little different. That's fair. I, one of, Fernando Vargas wasn't one of them, but that's a different story for another day. Yeah.